Welcome back party people. My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video, I'll be showing you all how to create a professional business email with Gmail for free. So instead of using a boring old Gmail account, which doesn't look professional, you can use something like john at mywebsite.com or daryl at mywebsite.com. You'll also be able to send and receive emails with your new email account using your Gmail accounts. It's really easy to get set up, so let's get started. So step number one, you need web hosting. In order to have a professional email account, you need to have a domain with hosting so Google can verify that it's your domain. I personally recommend Name Hero to get your domain and hosting. In fact, they do have a domain suggestion tool, which is really cool to help give you some ideas for your new email accounts. After you guys get web hosting, we can then go to step number two, which is creating the email account using that domain. So once you get the domain, you can then go ahead and create an email account with that domain name. It's really easy to get set up, so let's get started. All right, and this is my current hosting dashboard. Now we need to access the C panel. So here I'll click on my cloud. Now, whoever you're hosting with, like with GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost, everyone has a C panel. So you'll go ahead and access the C panel for your web hosting package. I'll just select one of my web hosting packages here. And then I'll click on login to cPanel. All right, cool. So this is my cPanel for name hero. Now, once you're here, you'll just type in email and then you'll see this email accounts. Go ahead and click on email accounts. Next on the way right side, you're going to see this create tab. Click on this create button. And here you'll see a list of your domains, right? So I obviously have tons of domains. So um, I'll just select, uh, what is it? I'll just do, I don't know, Daryl's World. And for my username, this is going to be the professional business email that you wish to create. So for example, manager at darylsworld.com or info at darylsworld.com. So I'm gonna type in info. And then here you'll enter in your password for your email accounts. Now, uh, make sure to write this down because you will need this a little bit later when we connect our Gmail account. So once you create a password, you'll then click on create. All right, and then right here, you'll see that you have your email that you have created. Now you can access this email anytime actually by just clicking on check email and you can always check your email from your server if you ever wanna go that route. So over here, I'll just click on open. And this is our current uh, email account for this specific email that we created. Now, the next step we need to do is we need to actually connect this with our Gmail account. So after you guys create your email account, we'll then move on to step three, which is connecting it to our Gmail account. Now, after you do this, you'll be able to send and receive emails using your Gmail accounts. You guys excited? Let's get started. So this is my Gmail account. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect that with this random Gmail account that I created. Once you're in your Gmail account, you'll click on this little uh, settings tab and you'll click on see all settings. Next, you'll click on accounts and import. You'll scroll to the bottom where it says check mail from other accounts and then you'll click on add a mail account. Now this is where you're gonna enter in your email address for the account that you created. Now let's go back to our cPanel really quick and I just want to show you all where you can find your login credentials for your email accounts. So here we have info at Daryl's world. I'm going to click on connect devices. And I'll scroll down and I'll click on this tab that says show non SSL. I'll click here. Now here is all of our information that we need. So this is the current uh, email that we're using. So I'll go back to our Gmail accounts and I will paste that in there. And then I'll click on next. Next, it says import emails from my other accounts. I'm gonna check this and click on next. So this is the email address that we created. Now this is asking for the username, the password and the pop server. The username is available right here where it says username. It's actually the same as the email address that you, uh, that you created. So just go ahead and input your username, which is your email. And for the password, now this is the password that you used to uh, create the email account from your cPanel. So I'll type it in here. Next, we have a pop server. So here you can see that uh, for incoming server, this is the actual address and the port is 110. So just make sure that's correct. So it's mail.darylsworld.com. Obviously it'll be your website here. 
the port is 110. And then I want to click on label incoming messages at info at Daryl's world. This will let us know if someone has emailed this address and then it will be rerouted to our Gmail account. So once you have, uh, once you input these settings, you'll then click on add accounts. All right, cool. So now that we've added this account, I now want to be able to send mail as this specific address. So right here where it says yes, make sure that's checked and click on next. So next we have the name and then we have the email address. Now this is the name that will appear when you send mail. So for example, if you put admin, it'll display admin when they, uh, you know, receive an email from this address, or you can just put your name. So I'll just put, uh, I'll just put Wilson. So this is the name that they're going to see when they get an email from this address. And then uh, I'll treat this as an alias and click on next step. Now, right here, it's asking for SMPD server information, and we can find that right here. So we have our username, right? We have to copy our username, input that. Now the SMPT server, this is right here. So it's going to be uh, mail.darylsworld.com. Remember, this is for the outgoing server. Let's go ahead and paste that there. And the port is 587. The port is 587. And then we're going to enter in the email that we use to create this email account from the cPanel. Now I want to select the TLS, which is recommended. And you'll see that this is uh, for the TLS settings as well. So once you're done with that, you'll just click on add accounts. All right. So the next thing is Gmail will send you a confirmation email to your current Gmail account. So let's go back to our Gmail account and click on inbox. Now this email might take five to 10 minutes to receive. It just really depends on the server and it depends how fast Google decides to send it. So just go ahead and wait maybe around five or 10 minutes. All right, so I received the email from Gmail. You guys can see just from the timestamps, it took me about five minutes to receive it. So just go ahead and wait it out. Uh, once you get the Gmail confirmation, we'll open it. And now we're going to double click on this and copy this. Now we also need to verify this address as well by clicking on this link. So make sure you go ahead and copy this. But first let's click on this link right here where we need to um, confirm our Gmail account. So let's click on mail at Google, whatever this link is, and then click on confirm. So now we can send mail as this specific address and let's go back to our setup and we're going to right click and paste our verification code and click on verify. All right, now uh, it'll close on you automatically and that's just what Gmail does. So yeah, we have now successfully configured our mail client with Gmail. Now there is one common error that Google tends to just uh, do on accident is if you confirm your email and you still cannot send email from that specific address, you'll need to just go back to your email account and then confirm it again. Sometimes this happens with Google. I don't know why, but uh, you can see here how they said I didn't verify it yet. However, I do have a confirmation account saying that I did. So just go ahead and go through the process again and confirming it. And there we go, confirmation success. Now let's go ahead and run a test transaction to see if the email accounts are synced up and everything's working. All right, it's pretty easy, right? Now there's one last thing we need to do is we need to send a test email to see if everything worked correctly. So let's give it a shot. So next let's go to compose. And we're gonna select the email account that we created. So it's info at darylsworld.com. And this is the alias. And then here I will just type in my other Portuguese email or YouTube, and then I'll put test. And then I'll type in test. And then once that's done, I'll click on send. All right, so now it has been sent to my other Gmail accounts. Now there is one thing I do wanna let you guys know, when you send and receive emails, like from info at Daryl's World or admin or manager, it does take a little bit of time. There is a delay, like maybe a one to three minute delay because it's being rerouted through your server and then it's being resent to the actual Gmail account. So the server has to fetch the mail and once it fetches it, it then reroutes it to the Gmail account. So just remember that there is a small delay. So if you do send an email and they don't get it right away, uh, that's perfectly normal. All right, so there is my test email. I went ahead and I deleted these other emails. Um, you'll see here how this was received at 
10.04 p.m. And I actually sent this email at 10.01. So it can take anywhere between three to five minutes for users to receive your email from your account. But we know that's working because uh, we received the test uh, email. Now let's write back to see if we can receive email from this address. So uh, I'll go ahead and reply. Hey man, what's up? And then I'll click on send. All right, so I'll go ahead and have to wait because now we're going to send this back to our business email account. All right, and there it is. So we have now received an email from the other address. So you'll see it says test, I'll click on it. And then it is from the other account and it was sent from Daryl Porto at Gmail and it was received to info at darylsworld.com. Now, just to let you guys know, this email did take five minutes for me to receive it. So you'll see from five minutes ago, uh, it was sent and we received it at uh, 10.05. So uh, you'll see that, uh, you know, it did take five minutes for us to receive the email, but rest assured it works. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. All right, party people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I think everyone today in 2021 and beyond uses uh, professional email accounts, right? No one really uses uh, Gmail accounts anymore because it just looks doesn't look professional. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Take care.